Good morning, Kira here from Zen Kids. I hope your apps are doing great this morning. So today we are going to do some more mindfulness activities. Mindfulness is becoming so popular all over the world. It's been used in professional sports. It's been used in schools. It's been used in doctors. It's been used in, in everywhere. It's been used in so many different settings because the benefits of it are amazing. So it can help us to improve in skills, it can help us to improve in, in sports, music, art, um, any kind of hobby. It can help improve our sleep. It can help improve our mood. So when we're feeling sad or angry or scared or any other feeling that we don't feel so good, mindfulness can help us to feel better. So what is mindfulness? Mindfulness is just when we pay very, very special attention to what we are doing right now. It's not thinking about tomorrow. It's not thinking about yesterday. It's not thinking about later on today. It's just putting all of our special attention onto what we are doing right now. So today we're going to go through some mindfulness exercises and I hope you all enjoy them. For this next exercise, I have a little helper with me. Hi. Molly is going to show you how to do um, some star breathing. So I'm going to start off by just explaining to you what we will need to do. So we are going to need to find a nice comfy spot to sit down. You're nice and comfy? Yeah. Yeah. And then we are going to take our nice mindfulness breath. So are we going to show everybody how we do our mindfulness breath? Yeah. So we'll take a deep breath into our nose, filling up our bellies with lots of fresh air, and then we'll breathe out. So first for this exercise, all we need to do is to spread out our hand right in front of us. So we're going to spread it out like a star. And then we're going to use a finger from our other hand as a tracing finger. And we're going to trace the outline of our hand. Now the twist is that when we are tracing our hand, we're going to use our mindfulness breath. So starting off at our thumb, we are going to take a deep breath into our nose, tracing our finger up to the top of our thumb, and then we'll breathe out. So again, breathing in, tracing our finger up our first finger, and then breathing out. Again, tracing our finger up our middle finger, breathing in and then breathing out. Tracing your finger up your, your finger and as you come down, you breathe out. And again, breathing in and breathing out. So Molly is going to show us all how to do it. So are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Breathe in, hold and breathe out. Breathe in and 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 hold and breathe out. Well done, Molly. Give me a star out of five. <laughs> so guys, that is just our star breathing. It's just using our hand and using a finger as our tracing finger, breathing in as we go up our finger and breathing down as we, we come, as we trace down. Breathing out. Yeah. <laughs> so you can use that exercise anywhere that you go, anywhere that you are, no matter what you are doing. It's great to use on a Friday morning before you get your test in school, isn't it? So it's a great way to help us relax if we're feeling a little bit nervous about doing our test in school, or if we maybe have a competition in sports, or we're maybe getting on a stage singing or acting. This can really help us before we do that if we're feeling nervous. So again, it's just tracing our finger up, breathing in, and as we trace down, we breathe out. Do you find that a good exercise, Molly? Yeah. Yeah, do you enjoy that one? Mm-hmm. So 
So a massive thank you to my little helper Molly and um, we will move on to the next exercise. So this next exercise is called belly buddies. So what I will need you to do is to find a small object, it can be a teddy or it can be a, anything you wish, just once it's small and it's light. What else we are going to need to do is to find a nice comfortable spot to lie down. So I'm going to have Molly help me with this exercise and this is going to be her belly buddy. A teddy is absolutely perfect to be your belly buddy because it's not too heavy and it will sit just comfortably on your belly. So once you've found your comfortable spot to lie down, maybe grab a pillow as well for your head. We are going to begin. So laying flat on your back and place the object on top of your belly. Look down towards your object. Take a deep breath into your nose and breathe out. Breathing into your nose and breathing out. Breathing into your nose and breathing out. So continue to take your nice mindful breaths now. Just deep breaths into your nose, filling up your belly with lots of air and breathe out through your mouth. Can you see your object moving? What is moving your object? Is it the air filling up your belly? So deep breath into your nose, right down into your belly and breathe out. A deep breath into your nose, filling up your belly and breathe out. So can you feel the air as it moves into your nose? Breathing in again to your nose and breathing out. Can you hear your breath as you breathe in and out? So guys, just continue with this exercise for as long as you wish. And enjoy. Breathing into your nose, filling up your bodies with lots of fresh air, and breathing out. So is your object moving as you breathe into your nose? And as you breathe out, does your object move back down? So breathing into your nose, filling up your bellies with lots of fresh air, and breathing out. After that exercise. Sleepy. Sleepy? Do you feel nice and relaxed? Yeah. Yeah, how else do you feel? Um, cozy. Cozy. Do you feel good? Yeah. Yeah. So anytime you wish, you can always just get your belly buddy. It can be a small teddy, it can be a small object, or um this is Molly's favourite belly buddy, I think. So you can use this exercise anytime you wish. Just using your mindful breath and just watching as your belly but body it rises and it falls as you breathe. So well done. And well done Molly and thank you. You're welcome. 
So I hope you enjoyed that and we move on to our next exercise. Now we are going to do some meditation. Now for this exercise, all you will need to do is to find a nice cozy spot to lie down. Maybe grab a blanket and a pillow. You could maybe lie on um, a mat on the floor, or you could lie on the couch, or you could lie on your bed. Anything at all, once you are nice and cozy and comfortable. And for this meditation exercise, all you need to do is to listen to what I guide you to do, and to also use your imagination. So once you've found your comfy, cozy spot, we are going to begin. So closing your eyes now, taking a nice deep breath into your nose, filling up your belly with lots of air, and then gently breathing out through your mouth. Breathing into your nose and gently breathing out through your mouth. And one more time, breathing in and breathing out. Now tense up all of your muscles in your body, squeezing all of your muscles very tightly, even tighter. Just as tight as you can. And now leave go. Leave all of your muscles to become loose and relaxed. Breathing in slowly and deeply and gently breathe out. Now I want you to imagine that you are lying down on soft green grass. You can smell fresh flowers nearby and it's a beautiful day. The sun is shining brightly and it gently warms your skin. You're feeling so relaxed. And the sky is so blue. You notice how fluffy and white the clouds are that fill the sky. Can you see them? Can you see the different shapes that the clouds have? You watch them as they slowly drift across the sky. Now imagine a big, colourful carpet coming down gently beside you. Can you see it? This is your very own special magic carpet. Climb up onto your magic carpet and it will take you to your favourite place. This is the most beautiful, colourful carpet. You feel perfectly safe. So taking another deep breath into your nose. And the magic carpet slowly and gently sweeps you up into the air. You are so excited. What an adventure this is. It takes you up higher and higher nearly as high as those white fluffy clouds. It's just wonderful to be here. You can see so much from being up so high. You can see trees and the houses below you. And it's as though the trees are waving up at you. 
you leave go of any worries you may have had. You are feeling so happy, just enjoying your magic carpet. This is an amazing adventure. What can you see? Now take a deep breath in and glide your magic carpet back down to the green grass when you are ready. Bringing all of those happy feelings with you as you lay back on the grass. Know that whenever you want to go on a magical carpet adventure again, all you need to do is to close your eyes and imagine the ma magic carpet in your mind. So now take another deep breath into your nose. And as you breathe out, wiggle your toes. And take another deep breath in. And this time, as you breathe out, wriggle your fingers. And breathing in again through your nose, filling up your bellies with lots of fresh air. And as you breathe out, you can open your eyes. So absolutely well done everyone and I hope you enjoyed your magical carpet adventure. I hope you're also feeling very nice and relaxed now. So we are going to move on to some more mindfulness activities. So I'm just going to um, go over some mindful bubble breathing again. Now I've done it during the week, but I just think it's an amazing exercise and it's lots of fun and who doesn't love bubbles? So we are going to start off by taking um, a nice, taking a seat, you can take a stand, just wherever you feel comfortable. And we are going to start off by taking our mindfulness breath. So we're going to take a deep breath into our nose. Filling up our bellies with lots of fresh air and then as we breathe out we are going to blow our bubbles through the bubble wand and blowing all the bubbles out watching as they float away so again taking a deep breath into your nose filling up your bellies with lots of fresh air and then blowing the bubbles out seeing their colors, seeing the shapes of the circles, seeing how big they are, how small they are. Another thing to do when we're using our mindfulness for bubbles is we can use our five senses. So even like looking at the color of the bubble mixture, feeling the, the container in your hands, really just paying attention to what we can see, paying attention to what we can feel, taking our mindful breath, hearing the sound of our breath as we blow the bubbles through the wand, Let's just have a little fun with this exercise just using your mindful breath and using your senses. Breathing into your nose and breathing out to your mouth. Blowing all the bubbles through the bubble wand. Breathing into your nose, breathing out to your mouth. And watching as the bubbles float away. 
So that was just to recap on the bubble meditation because I just love bubbles. I think it's so much fun. And it's a great way to practice mindfulness. So enjoy. That is all from me for today. I hope you really, really enjoyed all the mindfulness activities. And I just want to recap on how mindfulness can help us. So it can help us when we are feeling nervous or if we're feeling sad or angry. And it's also a great tool to help us to improve in sports, in any kind of hobby. It can also help us to sleep. As you've seen earlier, Molly said she felt very sleepy after one of the exercises. So if you're finding it difficult to go to sleep at night, maybe it's a good idea to try a meditation just before sleep. Another thing that it's really good at doing is it improves our schoolwork. It also improves our mood. So give it a go and see how you get on. Maybe practice it at times throughout the day, just using your five senses or using your breath or trying a meditation. You'll find plenty of meditations online. 